guys welcome back to another episode just wanted to update you guys um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the previous video or not but I'm getting the car ready for a drift event we have at Thunder Hill in February so doing all this work trying to get it ready um, it's pretty much there like I could drift the car as is but I, there's just some like little things I want to do to tighten up get the car all dialed in before I go um, it'll be my first drift event we're renting out the skid pad at Thunder Hill um, there's gonna be like six or seven of us and we get the whole day to just do whatever. Hopefully my car lasts. Um, I'm gonna do some ride-alongs, have people slide my car as well as me sliding my car. Still getting used to it with the welded. Um, I love it so far. The PVMs are great. Today, uh, I really didn't plan on doing this in this episode but you know how it goes. You're working on one thing and you might as well change the other thing while you're at it. So, got the car in the driveway. I am going to be installing transmission mount, ISR transmission mount today, um, replacing the old one with a polyurethane one because I feel like my trans moves quite a lot so I just want to button it up, get it all solid. Um, I already installed the B&M short shifter, I don't know if I showed you guys that in the video but that is officially in. What else? The original plan for today was I was just going to do a um, speed sensor. I was just gonna replace the speed sensor because when I did the trans swap, the my speed doesn't read anymore. So um, I'm gonna try with the speed sensor, see if that fixes the problem. But I will also be test fitting these babies today. Finally got another pair for the front. Um, shout out to Jimmy Yates. He sold me these. Um, a friend tagged me on his Instagram. So um, I'll finally have a full set of blitz. I'm just waiting for the tires to come in. I already ordered them. I'm also going to be test fitting these side skirts today. They are S13 side skirts, obviously. I don't know what brand or what anything, but they're fiberglass. They're white already, so I don't even have to paint them. I'm just gonna throw them on. I don't know if I'll have them before the drift event or not, or if um, I'll put them on after. I don't know yet. Because I test fitted them. Test fitted. I test fit them the other day and they were a little too low because the car right now sits a little bit higher than it was on the D-Maxes. The PVMs we didn't fully go all the way down so it's great because I don't rub or anything but I do want to be a little bit lower so I'll probably lower it before the event once I put the blitz on because I'm getting a smaller tire for the blitz. Other than that we are going to Cars and Coffee on Saturday in the morning. I'm going to probably bring this car. I gotta wash it and everything. Hopefully I can lower it before then. It's Thursday. No, today is only Wednesday. So I have a couple more days before um, cars and coffee in the morning. But yeah, I'm super pumped. These are going to be sick. They're a little worse condition than the Blitz that I have currently, the pair. But I don't mind it. Probably run these in the rear later on. But for the, just to make the event, I'm going to run them in the front. I also picked up these work equips, which I don't know if I showed you guys. These are going to be uh, my drift spares for the event. I am planning to rebuild them. Um, they're going to go... They're 17 by 8 right now, I believe. I want to go 17 by 9 and a half. So I'm going to be rebuilding those. I'll probably show you a video of that. But for now, we're going to do the trans mount with the ISR polyurethane one and the speed sensor. I'm also going to be doing other things like spray painting that so it doesn't rust more because it's starting to rust a little bit. And just other little things to tidy up the car a little bit. All right, so first things first, get the car on jack stands. Of course, there's the speed sensor. It's on the passenger side of the trans. Um, I don't know if fluid's gonna come out. Hopefully not. But we will find out soon enough. For reference, yes, the speed sensor definitely has fluid around it. So I am going to unplug this first. And then once I unplug it, plug in the new one and have it ready to go just to swap in as soon as I pull this one out. That way I don't make a huge mess of everything. Pull it out. Make sure you just swap over the little propeller on top too. Sensor is in. Next onto this grungy trans mount. When you're doing the trans mount, you want to make sure you jack up the transmission so it's not sitting on this damn mount. And then you can take it all off. I can see right now that the mount is like fucked. Like I feel like there's nothing even there. So we're about to take this off and uh, inspect it. It's a couple of 17s, two on each side, two there, two there, and then right here in the middle is a couple of 12s. So once you get the cross member off, you have two more 14 millimeter bolts. 
attached to the trans. But as you can see, as I suspected, my trans mount is donezo. It's not supposed to be separated right there, but it's completely separated. So it's a good thing we're down here to replace it. And just like that, you have the old trans mount, which is very separated and very broken, which is probably why it, it also doesn't help when you have a welded diff. There's all that force being pushed forward to the trans in the motor. You don't want it separated like that, which is probably why I felt like my trans was moving so much. Like my trans was literally just hopping around like this. So good thing we're changing this out. Um, let's grab the new one. This ISR one's pretty beefy, pretty satisfied with the purchase. Um, just make sure you pull out the old nuts or studs that come out from the top. Just push them up, they'll pop right out. And this one just bolts up right like so. I just gotta take the nuts off and flip it, but yeah. And then you attach the cross member to these and you're good. Attach this to the lower cross member first and then through these two holes you can tighten the ones to the trans. Because if you do it the other way around, like I just tried to do, you're not gonna be able to tighten the ones to the cross member. Because they are Allen's on top and they're not like automatically locking so all right, trans mount is in, speed sensor is in, it's Gucci. Hopefully this makes it feel the world of better. Um, we will find out in a test drive soon. So first impressions, just uh, move the car back a little bit and you can already tell the difference with the ISR trans mount. The car is a lot stiffer, not to say that it's stiffer, but it's transferring the vibrations from the motor and the trans into the body. So the fitment with the blitz is sick. Look at that. Look. That is perfect. I'm ex I'm ecstatic right now. I'm so excited. I can't wait for my tires to arrive. I can throw them on. And I'd be stunning hella hard. Shot of the PBMs looking good. 300 ZX brakes looking good. Blitz looking amazing. I'm excited. Fitment is on point. Alright guys, so I didn't get to test drive the car yet, um, but I drove it from the driveway to the parking spot where it's at now and the speed sensor still doesn't work so uh and it's not necessarily a speed sensor that's wrong um i'm gonna have to look online see what else could cause the uh speedo to not read um it read before we did the manual trans swap so if you guys know anything what it could possibly be drop a comment down below and let me know but on the plus side the blitz look amazing as you guys saw let me know what you guys think of them if you like it with blitz um, I don't know if I got a picture with the side or a video with the side skirts. I definitely got a picture so you can go check out my Instagram I'll post it up um, The car looks pretty good. So I'm pretty excited the UPS guy just came dropped me off some tires Which is awesome. These are what's gonna go on the blitz. So now I just got to head over Rob um, Get these bad boys mounted up. I don't think I'll do that today probably tomorrow because I have to take Anthony's wheels too to get his tires mounted so gonna take all these over and it'll be Gucci. So I got this other package, which was chilling upstairs. It must have came when I was under the car, so I don't know what's in it. <clears throat> Drop a comment below of what you might think it is. Um, I have an idea of what it is, but it wasn't supposed to arrive till later this week. But if it arrived today, that would be amazing. First time unboxing something with one hand, guys. Gucci. It's my helmet that I ordered. I got a SA15 Snell approved helmet so that when we head to Thunder Hill, I can pass tech. Legit. All white. Zamp. Got it for pretty cheap. Large. Not a bad day. There it is, guys. Looks sick. Can't wait to rock it. First thing I'm gonna do, of course, throw a sticker on it. Would you expect anything less? 
I'm so excited. This is sick. Got the tires, test fitted the blitz, got the helmet. I am set. I am ready for the drift day. So that's it for today's video, guys. Um, like I said, drop some comments below. I'd love to read them. Let me know what you think of all the parts um, and any recommendations of what you might think will fix my speedo problem. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.